Okay, now what I'm going to do in this module is we're going to have this fundamental introductory couple of videos that I'm hoping will be not necessarily all review, but certainly review and pointing you to movies. And the first thing we're going to talk about in this regard is the sources of the elements. I kind of mentioned this at the start, right? Um, there's our main groups there. We have, of course, got the standard metal, non-metal, and metalloid separation of them. Where do these elements come from? Well, most of the time, the elements are not occurring naturally in their elemental state. There's a couple you get from natural gas, some you get from distillation of air, a couple that just, just sitting there on the ground kind of thing. But most of the time, elements are either going to be in a positive oxidation state in a compound or a negative oxidation state. Well, regardless of the oxidation state, we can electrolyze it the element or the atom, if you like, to get down to it in the elemental stage. If it's got a positive oxidation number, we can reduce. If it's got a negative oxidation number, we can oxidize it. Okay. Now, that is what it looks like when we use this color scheme. Notice particularly the pretty little colors there and so on. But I'm not going to detail this right now. There are two extra movies associated with the sources of the elements. So at some stage during the module, probably fairly early on, this will be required viewing for you, the two movies associated with where do we actually get the elements from.